write a program to input two numbers and display the greatest number okay this is the question and this question we will be solving using sub procedure as well as function procedure now function is already ready so let's do this program using fun function procedure at the beginning so basically what we have to do in this program is we have to take two numbers as an input and we will compare those two numbers and whichever one is the greatest number that we will display so let's do it so declare function greatest number great okay i'm using great as the function name now let's talk about this dollar sign now if you uh, look at this question carefully then what we have to display is we have to we have to display the greatest number so greatest number is a numeric value so number is what we are trying to display so since we are displaying a numeric value we will be also be returning a numeric value hence dollar sign is not required in this particular program since we are returning a numeric value now we need to take one number as an input so let's take one number as an input and for this parameter let's simply write n so enter any number oh, sorry two numbers so we need two parameters over here okay because we are taking two numbers as an input so the parameters i am keeping it as n1 comma n2 for storing two numbers n1 and n2 okay to store two numbers i am using n1 n2 so enter any number and for that i'm storing it in n1 now we need to ask one more question and that is enter okay let's edit our message a little bit let's write first okay this this looks a little bit good second so first number in n1 and second number in n2 now what we need to do is we need to call the function procedure and in order to call we use print then we write down the now message part okay we have to write down the message over here because the function will only return the greatest number it will not return any message hence we need to write message over here so let's write down the message the greatest number is the greatest number is now let's call great n1 n2 okay these are the two arguments that we have to pass now let's go towards the definition part here is the definition function great is the name of our function now there are two parameters n1 and n2 now what we have to do is where we have to check whether the which one is the greatest number so to check we use if and we need to write down the condition and the condition is if n1 is greater than n2 we are checking if n1 is greater than n2 and if this condition is true if this condition is true then we know that n1 is the greatest number so that's what we have to display so since we are doing program using function let's return the value great equals to now what we'll do is we'll return the greatest number and the greatest number according to this particular condition if it is true it is n1 so n1 is the greatest number if this condition is true and that's what we have written in our true part now suppose if this condition is false if this condition is false then we know that n2 is the greatest number so what we have to do is we have to return n2 so this is all we need to do in our definition part let's check our answer first number five seven so greatest number is seven now let's give seven and five here also seven is the greatest number and we got the same output okay now what we will do is we will convert this program into sub procedure so using sub procedure s u b sub procedure now with sub procedure there is only few changes that we have to make replace function with sub which we have done now dollar sign we don't have to think about this dollar sign because with sub procedure dollar sign is not required at all okay dollar sign is not required at all now what we'll do is we'll call the sub procedure and to call we use call keyword 
Now we have to call this sub procedure. Okay, our sub procedure is great. Okay, everything is fine so far. Now let's go to our definition part, replace function with sub. And here, instead of returning a value, what we do is we print. So let's print the greatest number is n1. And the same message we will be displaying in the false part as well. If the condition is false, then our control will go to the false part. This is our false part. And here we will display the number as n2. So let's run our program. 8, 9. 9 is the greatest number. 9, 8. Again, 9 is the greatest number. So suppose uh, same program if we have to convert. Uh, so suppose if we are doing for the smaller number, then what we simply do is, okay, I'll just simply edit over here only, okay, for the smaller number. We just need to change the sign over here like this. Then instead of this greatest number, what we'll do is we'll write smallest number. Here also same thing, S-M-L-L-E-S-T, -L -L -E smallest number. So if we run this program, smallest number, 7, 2. 2 is the smallest number, 2, 4, 26, 79, 26 is the smallest number. So this is the only small change that we have to make. And obviously, this great, instead of great, what we'll write is we'll write small. That's the only change we have to make. Now we will do one final program for today. And the final program is this one. Now we have already seen for two numbers. Now we'll add one more number and we will see for three numbers now. Now, according to a C question, sometimes it asks for two numbers and sometimes it asks for three numbers. So in whatever way it asks, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is how we do. It hasn't asked for more than three numbers, but if you understand this program, you will be able to solve with using four, five, whatever. So write a program to input three numbers and display the, let's do for smallest one now. Display the smallest number. Okay, first we'll do using sub procedure. Declare sub, let's write small. Small number, small. Now we need three numbers. So let's add one more parameter that is N3. Now let's ask one more question. One more input is required here. So enter third number. So third number, let's store it in N3. So call small, S-M-A-L-L. -L. N1, N2, and one more parameter that is N3. So this is all we will be doing in our main module. Now let's go towards the definition part. So here is the, so here is the definition. So let's first replace this with small. Let's add one more parameter over here. Okay, now what we have to do over here is we have to check more than one condition because there are three numbers right now. And in order to be a small number, a number has to, a number is considered a small number if it is smaller than the other two. Now N1 will be a small number if it is smaller than N2 and N3. Similarly, N2 will be a smaller number if it is smaller than N1 and N3. And similarly, N3 will be a smaller number if it is smaller than N1 and N2. So hence, we have to check more than one conditions. So we will be using if, else, if, else. And this is how we do. Now, to, now first of all, we are checking for N1. Now, to become N1 small, it has to be smaller than N2. And also, it has to be smaller than N3. Now, you can see here, there are two conditions in one statement. So in order to combine, we have to either use or or and. Now just think, if you are thinking of and, then it is absolutely correct, okay? If you are thinking of and operator, then you are correct because in this particular program, both the conditions has to be true. If both the conditions are true, then only N1 will be a smaller number. It has to be smaller than N1 and it also has to be smaller than N3. Okay, in this, if this is the case, then what we'll do is we'll print the smaller number as N1, which is already done over here. Now let's check for N2. 
Now let's check for N2. As we have already seen this kind of thing, that first condition is written with if, and the remaining conditions we write with else if. So else if, now we are checking for N2. So to become N2 smaller, it, we have to, it has to be smaller than N1, and also N2 has to be smaller than N3. If this condition is true, then we know that the smaller number is N2. So here it is already N2. Now, if, if both the conditions are false, let's assume user typed in such a way that both the con uh, conditions became false. Then in such kind of scenario, the smaller number is N3. It is obvious. So for that, we don't need to check any conditions. So what we'll do is we'll simply write else. So what is happening right now is we are assuming if both the conditions are false, this is also false, this is also false. If both the conditions are false, then our control will move towards the false part and false part is below else. So here what we'll do is we will display the smallest number is N3. So let's run our program and let's give the three numbers. One, two, three. Smallest number is N1. One. Okay, one more time. Two, one, three. I'm making second number small. Okay, now I'm making, I'll make third number small. In all the cases, uh, we got the correct answer. So this is a program to determine smallest number using sub procedure among three numbers. Now, same program, we will convert using function. So let's go to our main module. Let's replace this with function. Okay, here also function. And as, the, and as that of before, dollar sign is required or not, just think. And if you are thinking it is not required, then again, you are absolutely correct because in our previous program, we displayed greater number. Here we are displaying a smaller number. So smaller number is also a numeric value and that is what the function is going to return. Hence the function returns a numeric value. Therefore, dollar sign is not required. So what is required is CLS, which is already there, three inputs, which is also there. Now what we need is we need to call and to call, we will be using print keyword. And in this program also, the function will only return a numeric value. It will not return any message. So we have to write message over here. And the message this time is the smallest number is. And this is the name of the function now. So let's move towards after the function is called, we will move towards the definition part, which is over here. Let's replace sub with function. And the only change that we have to make over here is replace print with return. We have to return the value. So replace print with the name of the function, which is S-M-A-L-L, -L, small equals two. So here, okay, this is not required. Here also, let's replace print with small. And there is one more. Okay, now what we have to re return is we have to return the value. And if this condition is true, we know that the smallest number is N1. So here we have to write N1. And here what we have to write is we have to return N2. And similarly, here we will return N3. And this whole thing is not required. So this is the change with function procedure. We have less than a minute. Let's see the output and we'll end our class for today. Okay, so I'm running this program. Okay, one, two, three, smaller number, one. One more time, two, one, three, smaller number, one. One more time, three, two, one. And the smaller number is one again. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like my video so that I get motivated to create more of these videos. We would appreciate if you would share this video with your friends. And if you have any queries and suggestions, let me know through the comment section. Lastly, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you.